Hi, so uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, this is kind of a little different than what I normally do, but uh, someone had made a post about um, they're trying different wigs and they're like, why don't I feel comfortable in these? Why don't I feel confident in these? Why don't I feel insecure in these? So I said, you know what? I'm gonna make a video about that because it's something we've all experienced and it's just too much that, um, too much to put in words in I'm typing. So um, I had some notes, but unfortunately they're on my iPad and my daughter had drained my iPad dry and I need to do this now um, while there's still some light left um, just because I don't know when I'll still be able to do this again when I have some quiet. So let me just um, do the best I can. So good news is that my responses are all based on mental health and, and psych and that's my uh, territory, it's my specialty. So um, I think I should be able to answer this question without having to look at all my notes. I did have some websites that I wanted to reference to, but um, I think I'll be okay. So anyways, um, so part of the reason that when we, so just think about a time when something different had happened. Um, like the, the biggest thing I, I can uh, relate this to is, is weight loss. Um, you know, the biggest one would be if you had like gastric gastric bypass and you lost a lot of weight but it could also have been like you just lost weight over time but if you were heavy for a long time you're you're used to that self you're used to that body so even with your new slim body um, there's a lot of uh, psychological um, different things that can happen to you and, and so you, even though you have this new body and you feel good, you're, you're not used to it, you're still insecure, you still have other things that you sh you're struggling with, and that's living in this new body. And, and that's very similar to how uh, wearing wigs can be. We, we're so used, I mean, for most of us anyways, um, we're so used to thin, you know, thin scraggly hair that we put this new hair on and even though it's fabulous we still feel very insecure about it and we're still it should be a happy time but we're still kind of sad and some of that um if you've ever heard of um oh what's the disorder that i'm thinking of um well att attach was it attachment disorder um it's where you something stressful have happened and so you're having a hard time adjusting and losing your hair can be is very stressful I mean we our hair is is our beauty I mean even the Bible talks about how a woman's hair is what makes her beautiful so losing that making you feel less of a woman is very stressful and then you get this new hair and you should be happy but because of all that stress, you're having a hard time adjusting to it. Just like, you know, with the whole weight loss thing, that's why I um, discuss the weight loss. Because even though you've done this great thing and you have this new body and you feel amazing and your energy's up, you still, you, you know, you're just kind of depressed because you're having a hard time, after all that stress, you're having a hard time adjusting to it. Adjustment disorder, that, not attachment disorder, sorry, it was adjustment disorder. Um, you know, also, you know, it's where like body dysmorphia can ha can come from. Is where you, you, you know, either you're this way, but you have this new way of seeing yourself, but you're still seeing yourself the old way. And so, when we get a wig, we're not used to that thick hair. Now, sometimes it is just the bad wig. Sometimes it's not the wig for us. But even when it is the most perfect wig, we're just not used to it. Um, even imagine when you you had hair and you were naturally brunette and then you dyed your hair blonde and you just were like Ugh. or I know I have a wig that I cut bangs into and I'm not used to bangs so when I wear that I feel different so it's just we are not used to seeing ourselves with that hair and it just takes time when you are, are new to wigs when I was new to wigs I like I just wore the same one for a very long time I there's all these new ones that I was very interested in trying but at the time I just could not it, it, I just wasn't ready for it. So I needed that time to um, 
just get used to the one wig that I had, get used to that volume. In fact, I was so not used to it that I always had my hair put up. I had um, like a, a bohemian wrap around my head and I always had my hair up. And that's how I got used to the volume before I got used to the, the hairline. So it did take some time. But um, that's something that I recommend if you're new to wigs. I mean, some if you're able to just go all out and not have a care in the world, more power to you. But most of us, it is a process. It's an emotional, psychological process. And we need to get used to the one wig, get used to us in that hairstyle and that color and that volume and that length before moving on. And in, once you're comfortable and you try a new wig, you, you know, even then, we can still feel like, Oof, like why do I hate myself in this wig and it can take time like I I first had worn um, Raquel Welch's long and long I had that in honey ginger and I wore that for a long time and then I bought a human hair wig and it was too blonde for me so I dyed it um, a dark blonde and uh, and so that was kind of the same color as the honey ginger so I was able to interchange those so it wasn't that much of a difference and then um, after that, I, I got a John Renault's Rachel in 14 slash 26 S10. That one I did a review on as well. And um, I, so the color wasn't too drastic. So I was able to get used to that. It wasn't that hard. So um, that's something if you're going to change up wigs, try and make them similar in color and, you know, maybe even length. Because I had, at the same time, I tried like a John Renault Ignite. In Malibu Blonde and it was just I'm so not used to that super short hair so it just it took some time to adjust and um, that's just that's really all I can I can say about that is that you need to give yourself time to get used to yourself with um, this thicker volume of hair you you just need to get used to that and whether it be wearing like hats with your hair or do what I did with like like a, a cute Bo bohemian wrap or some sort of like headband you know just those are different things or head scarves those are different things that can help and then just if you're changing your wigs try not to make it too drastic because you're you're just not used to it you're not used to it other people are definitely not going to be used to it and so it just it takes time for um it just takes time for you to adjust but i promise that you will adjust you will get used to it um, you just got to give yourself time if you you it, you have to look at what it is that you're feeling self-conscious about with the wig Maybe it's a matter of where you have it placed or maybe if it's too thick thin it yourself There's lots of YouTube videos out there or have a professional thin it have it trimmed maybe to a style You're used to wearing like wearing something that you're more used to is gonna be better. I always had thin crappy hair so when I got away I had it long and, and thicker so it took much more time to get used to and I also didn't know anything about wigs I didn't even know about you know all these different support groups and everything and so um, that would have made a huge difference but um, yeah that's just what I can recommend is, is try picking wigs that are, are similar to what you're used to and, and don't try and change it up too much and just see if maybe it's the parting sometimes it's the parting one of my wigs um, I, I can change the part up, but when I have it on the right side, I just, I feel like it looks wiggy and stupid and awful, but then when I put it back to the left, which is what I'm used to, I'm like, oh, now I like it so much better. Just those little things alone can make a huge difference in how you feel uh, while you're wearing a wig. Um, is the parting, the color, the shape, how thick it is. A lot of them were not used to thick hair, so you don't have to specifically go out and buy wigs that are thinner already you can get them thin it's not hard to do and if you you can even go to a wig boutique and pay like 30 bucks for them to do it um, or just do it yourself it's really not hard it's not hard at all there's lots of YouTube videos that can show you I promise that you can do this okay so one more thing that I want to add um, is as you're getting used to your wigs like reach out to um, your support groups, your other wig wearers, uh, specifically because they know what you're going through and, and talking about things with others is what helps. I didn't know. I didn't think to look about, look for online support groups on Facebook until I was like half, you know, at like six, seven, eight, probably 10 months into my wig wearing 
journey and that would have made it so much easier. I would have had way less anxiety and stress about wearing wigs. It just, it was, it was awful. I, I felt like I was like all alone and um, I just don't wish that on anybody. So reach out, just even if it's just pictures, like what do you think about this? And I mean, there's some people that will never give you an honest answer and they'll just say, oh, it looks great, it looks great. But there's other people that will be honest and they'll let you know, even if it's in a private message and, and, and appreciate that. I, I mean, I don't like being lied to. I don't want to be told that, um, my wig looks good when it doesn't you know I like honesty and a lot of women do as well so just use that use the support <clears throat> take the feedback um, shh, shh, buddy. Uh, take that feedback and um, learn from it and it's not a bad thing you know wigs some wigs look some of us look good in wigs there's not everyone doesn't look good in every single wig so it really just depends you want to do what flatters your face shape and 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 you know what makes you look younger so um yeah anyways um i hope this was helpful and i hope this answers your questions and relieves some anxiety and just reach out to me if you need love and support okay thank you